Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode we'll be going over the 10 most picked champions by Faker in League of Legends history. Without further delay, let's dive straight into the action. No one really nearby to try to take that one, Faker comes in with a TP, cancels it actually, Duke goes in with a big pop up on the Ixu, down below half HP though, does have to retreat, Bang as well taking a hell of a lot of damage on the backside of this fight. But the members of Africa are also quite low. Mickey coming up will have that final spark available, but look at that damage from Faker. Just works right through Ixu. And just like that, SKT are looking to end this game uh, before the 35 minute mark, maybe even the 30 minute mark if they can continue on with this push. Nice dash away by Bang of Fades. That Lux ultimate double binding comes across, but it's just no follow up damage here for Freak of Freaks, and the base is just crumbling around them. With so many squishes on the side, Faker's an assassin on this, Lulu. Yes, he is. Landing those Glitter Lances, takes out Snowflower. Lyra with the Lamps for Spike, gets down, gets that for this. A little ways as Lyra is throwing down a decent amount of damage. But, uh, yeah, I think this is wild. <laughs> Ixu goes down. This is going to be the game. Duke just taking up both of these towers, just now getting down to half HP. First Nexus Tower falls. Faker keeping everybody completely stuck inside the fountain. Wild goes onto himself. Song Yun gonna go down. There's the kill. Let's see if he can follow up with two more. And Swiss Spike comes through to keep Snow. The end, yeah, I agree. And Nagne coming in onto Faker. Faker flashes ahead. He's in trouble here. Faker turns. Does he get Nagne? He does. Wow, Faker. What do you know? He's really good on Victor. There's a double kill. Things Faker in a lot of trouble here. He's gonna go down another kill for Faker. An arrow completely caught out. Looking for some opportunities to do damage, and he finds it big time. Marin, wow, this is why you don't let Marin have Maokai. It just makes it so easy for SKT to do the rest of it. Wow, <laughs> Twisted Advance follows the ultimate from Hecarim, and Marin's still going. Now onto Arrow, and Faker diving the turret. Then Solar Flare slows down Arrow. Arrow sticks around to try to do some damage. There gets. All right, the cat. As the exhaust does come through, King taking so much damage, the rest of his teammates are there to stop him from dying to the ace in the hole as the exhaust comes through onto Zayas, but there is nothing that Fate can do about it. He tries to flash, it does not work, and these health bars are getting absolutely destroyed. Faker looking for the triple kill as Keen's in trouble, and he'll get it. Can it be the Penta for Faker to start off? Ona says absolutely not. You'll have to settle for a Quadra, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nope, I'm defecting. I'm defecting. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to uh, go back. I mean, like even walking through this choke point right now is, is an insane choice to make. It's almost suicidal here with Faker holding the package, and look at where Faker's position right now. You can't punish him. Here he goes! Here he goes, and Laspa, he is the unlucky one. First blood gonna be handed over to the Corky of all people. Make that two! Faker gonna pick up two of them as Karia will get another one, and Genji, as you mentioned, they just get him. Okay, let's see whether he actually... Yeah, he does have go, side up, side up. That was blind. That sidestep was basically blind. Yeah, I mean, he knew that Silas was there. So yeah, right. up. Guma still has all summoners. Faker has ulti. Will they try? A Jinx and a Tom Kench versus a team of Baron. Oh. You've seen this before. The charm flashed away by Yumi Yushi. Faker looking to get in from the back of the pit. Frozen Tomb available for him. RNG calling T1's bluff. And Faker oh. finds them all. Guma Yushi, Kevia, and Faker will not go quietly into the night. Form is temporary. Faker is forever. Oh. Again, 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 he just stops the follow-up here. Chovy gets punished instantly. Yeah. And Pays, even with the low health bars, he just doesn't have a front line at oh, all. Oh, no! Faker just flashes in the Everfrost is extraordinary! And neither of them can play the game! That was beautiful! I mean, Faker just... Peace right there, he's not gonna let that guy free farm. They're just gonna force the issue. Good taunt flash, though, by Impact to set that up. And here's another one in mid with oh. Shen. Here comes Stand United. Maple is going to do the best he can to get away. Flashes the taunt. Spur Rush is not available. Will be in a few seconds. Faker followed by the Cocoon on the Equalizer. In the mid lane, the Tomb locks up Maple. He Spur Rushes to the side. Again, and diving a turret. Rush's non-combat items still has better record in fights. Oh, here comes Faker. He has just melted. Stay. Bay, the piercing arrow goes out. Baron down to 6,000 HP. Gamma Bears going to try to engage in this one. They've got no vision, though. That's a flash over the wall. Impact does catch him. Look at that massive damage from Impact. The Ring of Frost locks him up for a couple of seconds. Hourglass has not been used yet. As the first victim was Maple. Spur Rush not even used. Now the Hourglass by Faker keeping him alive. NL does throw down the barrier. In the background, sort of. So that was smart from MLXG to buck the trend of this tournament where it's been passive to be a lot more aggressive at speaking of aggression. The flash, the flash, the chase for Faker. They have the damage. Knocks him back up. One more shot will do him in. 
doesn't need any ability power. Faker gets him down one to one so far in the game. Out of that one, it comes for shots to Jewel Man. And who did it go zero to? Here comes Faker. He's gonna knock him out of Lexi, and that's gonna be spicy. Faker on his second kill. Game plan goes for the knock of his ear, and now Faker in the fight as well. Will he get any for himself? He's so prepped, he's got a lot of damage reduction. Plus the shield back in to look at a wolf, but also at MLX Chief. Force him flash away, let's bounce gets nothing. Faker still now running away. Sees he knows he's seen by a ward that chase in for Xiaohu. Come for Hensel Duel Mint. Boisling's got another taunt for Faker. But one more shot from Uzi. Will Duel Mint, the deadly venom is gonna make it. Well, now looking into the top jungle. Into the mid lane, they found Nick, but a lot of time his body looks back towards Uzi. Barrier used, the shield's in as well. But not looking to land either from Wolf. Can't quite land though. And as they disengage the blue bacon, they've caught Uzi. The reset is not gonna be enough for me. One more time, we'll fight Let me. Yeah, Just Hoody, a single. Yeah, Hoody already never Baker's going to the flash ball. This stuff's going to land to the half of damage. One picked up already. The re-engager Baker's only a knock if he's still one versus three. The chase forward. Ming wants everything. MLXG, rather, no, it's going to be him traded down to the turret. Baker pulling him into the damage out, but Uzi waiting. And there's not a lot of ways out. MLXG getting low, though. Oh. He's got to be careful. The knock of his in for Baker. Make it number two. The boomerang not going to land. It comes back, but it doesn't matter. A shutdown for the best player in the managed to avoid damage and knock up out of Bengi. There is Watch right at the front trying to get involved. Bengi, oh, oh blown up. Well, his passive is there to save him. Will he be able to escape? There is Stan United coming in. Strangle Thorn's going to knock Najin Sword into the air. Prey is going to fall here. Baker from the side. Crescendo comes around. SKT doing great in this one. Now Kane going to be the target. Exhaust goes down, but it won't make a difference. Especially he's going to try and chase down Baker here. But with impact to get that taunt down, will he have oh, to finish no. it? Baker is still alive. Charm's going to land on him. Oh, is he going to be able to walk away? Baker is still running. Oh. Here for the Kwangdong Freaks, but the turn once again being set up here by T1. The damage is going in. There's the rocket onto owner. This is going to be close, but Elam's not able to get in. He gets charmed as the engage goes down, but the devour is there once again to save Faker, and this is going to be a massacre. Faker able to take down Keen. Teddy is getting a bit excited, but over the wall comes Faker again, and he is going to get that charm onto Teddy. This will be a clean ace and the Baron, and potentially the game end for Teleport. Oh, lane though, Kazi and the rest of men are running for their lives. Niski so incredibly low. Focus are arriving. Spirit Rush is available. Spirit Rush, Foxfire, all the deception of man. Lions get dominated. Baker has arrived. Flash ulti. Uh, Marin being aggressive and coming in from behind with the teleport, things yep. like that. I mean, I, I feel like Marin especially has added this huge new dimension. They do catch Bengi though. Bengi trying to get away. Faker is going to prevent that oh from my. happening though. Wow. Double kill for Faker. Now Bang. He's going to be looking for some resets. Duke getting a bit low. And with that slow, maybe he'll get away. Wolf coming in. Faker. Can he make something happen? Oh, really nice use. Quadra. Of the spell he said. Yeah, it's a quadra kill for Faker. Come back and up the here. Frost, Frost oh, Queen's Q. claim does work for He's Wolf. He's gonna slash laugh at him now under oh. the Nexus turret. Oh, Q denying Faker the little long penta. It's okay. I gotta say, that was one of the better uh, Frost Queen's claim uses by uh, Wolf there, too. Just yet another great play by him. Oh, he, oh, he got it! How in the world did he get that penta kill? <laughs> Wow, that was really on the edge. Just pushes right down the mid lane where they just overwhelm them with numbers. But that it doesn't gonna work when Faker's there. No, he's gonna go over to Rage though. Yeah. Oh, Faker follows him straight through. Double kill. More for that item to show up as Imp finds Faker. Faker just gonna blink for it and he actually turns around and bursts him down as Dandy shows up for a revenge kill. Faker trying to jump away, but here comes Looper. I don't think Faker has a way out of this. He's trying to use his clone to block shots off, and he gets it. Looper has... Uh, which I think is so interesting to watch. Looking for Faker now. Trying to get underneath the tower. He needs to dodge away from the Everfrost. The charm, the rune, he dodges perfectly. Oh, Faker, oh. you beautiful <laughs> man, escapes the three-man die. What was that? I, 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 I don't have moments waiting for that Drake. They're getting a third mountain Drake. They already got the first Baron. That was huge for them to actually get a bigger goal lead. They're saving the Drake for now. They got two already. Bang is hiding. He's coming. Bang looking to come in. Here comes your initiation. There is three. Oh, oh my god. Faker Shockwave will find them all. And SKT with a hell of a response will take down four. They did it. They fall back from a 9,000 gold deficit. I
doesn't want a team fight against all expectations. Rumble could not get the perfect equalizer because in half a second, it was so important that they took the early objectives because Oriana is never grouped with a front line in front of her to put the ball, to cancel out the death mark. Baker has been out of position because it's oh, very hard boy. to have position. And we hear an ultimate pop, and we see a turn. Yeah, dredge line coming through. Big, big equalizer! Big shot wave comes through! Baker Holy. just absolutely devastates the ranks of KD Roaster. A triple kill for him. Pawn trying to get out with his life, but it just doesn't look very likely. And good God, off the backside of the Baron SKT, blow the game wide open, Hootie! He was really left to be had, and everyone else able to disengage Ooh. properly. But now, they the play towards top side. They do they see Baker, goes. and the cocoon's not going to land, though. So can they get anything else? The flash chase. It's Snap onto his face, looking for a little bit more, and he's not oh. gonna go down. Faker with just the ghost gets away with it. He knew they were coming the second Gorilla charged at him in an empty lane. He did a minor step upwards, forcing the cocoon to ever so slightly miss this leaves mid lane exposed. The prey is here to defend, but that was so close. Faker saw the enemy support running at him, he knew he was getting ganked, and then the cocoon was just a hair short. Just a hair short and just a split second off from flashing away from the shockwave and so many incredibly slim margins that could decide this series. And Two destinies for every single teleport spell right now. Amazing Jay getting aggressive by Bangi. He should be fine make his way out. The wave will reset too. So overall, EG clawing back into the game with the globals. But teleports are about to come up again and that could swing it in favor of SKT again. And Bengi bought a sight stone and is ahead of Amazing J right now. If you just like to track that money, he's still got more than this poor Nar top lane right now. Mid lane turn also goes down. The flash engage from Faker. Yeah, there's the room prison in there. All of the spells, all of the time. Faker, the 1v1 against Pawn. And that's with Rod of Ages and Tears still stacking up. And we talked about this matchup earlier. We said Rise can't touch TF because he will get gold carded every time he aggresses well. 30 seconds till this Drake comes up. At the same time, they find the rest. 3 6 not going to take his fight against Faker. Will it be enough? Does he win round two? He's ignited. He's ever frosted. Oh! And Faker with five held left wins the one on one. The goat. Now he's got more enemies coming after him, though. He's going for the sneaky recall. Out of vision. They know he's on the left hand side. Missing. Will not spot him. Go into the brush. They see. They, you oh, can the see ball. it. You it can see it. It was in vision. They don't walk over to the wrong board. Baker with the okie doke complete jukes right here. Oh, you board. can't see me. That ward's just outside the bush above. We can. The gold lead still very significant, but we'll go ahead and get another look at this. Watch the replay here. Lava ups into a 1v1 against his old teammate, outplayed by Faker. Excellent flash to confirm the Q hitting. Walks away and. He would have preferred just to clear this wave and back in the brush, but he gets the call. Involved in 15 of the 18 kills. Absolute beast for sure. Here's a look at the engage, and they is immediately they go straight for frontline. They knock back the Sejuani, and because of the comp this time around, it's easy for them to finish that out. Faker then oh. goes around the back. Nobody's getting out of here. And it's like Faker from the back, Kamiyushi from the left, Ona from the front. They're being flanked when they just shouldn't be. The focus on his face. He knows that this game is his. But instant flash comes in from Daft. And the chains of corruption. And Carrier, he's just on the wrong side of this fight. He's going the wrong way. <laughs> he's like, oh, I thought we were blue side. We were blue side for five four games. And now owners super deep in there. And the damage comes out from Willer. And this gigantic Viego is on the chase. He's looking for more. We got Mr. 200 years on the opposite side. Gumi Yushi trying to make Vista. it go, but Vista gets it going. And Faker is trying to 1v4 now, and he will be able to. He's creating the front line for Gumi Yushi on the Aphelios, and he's going to keep this fight alive. Tovi's just barely going to get out of here. It looks like Faker still doesn't have his dash. Just He'll yet. have it. There it is. Yep. And no dissonance, no mana here. <laughs> he's got a crab rave. Faker here is one of those pick targets. Yeah, it does have his crown, and they're gonna look to try and stop him. They do deny the uh, the shifting sands at the beginning, but then he just gets himself out. Another glacial prison comes in. Aiming's gonna be interrupted by Oda. Absolutely beautiful play now. Carrier taking some damage, but the feather storm's going to save Gumiushi. Lahens has to go golden, and he's not gonna be able to get himself out of it. Kane is gonna be the first to go down in the fight, and T1 are just juggling the aggro gorgeously. Ko's gonna be the next victim here. As T1 are looking for match point. They are looking for no mercy, and they want to head towards the final. Faker, he lives!
He lives in more ways than one. He is not. Once he got out of the pool, but as a result, took too much damage. I think keeping the summoners there is definitely the right call, but could have been avoided. And we're starting to see KT ramp up the pressure. Well, Kenny Paul's coming in as Cuz are looking for Faker. Doesn't quite find the Q. Stun lands though from BDD. And surely one of these CCs is going to work. No. Faker's able to ship the Sands. He gets himself back to the turret. I mean, this is just what Faker does on the.